Hey YouTube, so I know it's been a while that I haven't made a video. Y'all, when I say God has been giving me after Passover, like I don't know if the floodgates were opened, but I started having experiences, a miracle took place, like um y'all, like like I, all right where do i start the first dream i had was jesus was in my dream and he gave me and my daughter this vector kind of like the vectors that they get with the eternal flame during the olympics but this was different like it looked ancient like it was like a some type of stone with a round thing around it and it had like this light in it and it would uh it would it would rotate around the vector um he gave one to me and one to my daughter. And I didn't quite understand that dream, but I just accepted it. Um, and so, and then I had a dream. Um, and this dream was very interesting because um, I've been having bad to bad dreams. This dream was concerning the coronavirus and what the devil was trying to do with the coronavirus. The coronavirus was supposed to speed up the time. He wanted it to, he, what was supposed to happen with the coronavirus was, uh, it was supposed to, to basically usher in, um, martial law. It was supposed to usher in, like, basically everything was supposed to get out of control and the government was supposed to basically, uh, and, um, just, it was, uh, there was supposed to be no food. There was supposed to be, um, cause I had a dream of what it was supposed to be. And it was supposed to accelerate the end times. I don't know why he'd want to accelerate the end times considering he is going to fall. But, you know, he's like very delusional. So whatever. But it was a, an acceleration tactic that didn't work. Um, because God showed me how bad it was supposed to be and how long. See, in the next four months or so, we're going to start seeing this coronavirus clear up because God already showed me that the blood of Jesus has already been applied to the earth. Um, the blood of Jesus has already been applied to the earth because he messed up when he opened up the pandemic close to Passover. And the Passover, there was praying, there was worshiping, and God heard all that, and God was like, nah, I got this. <laughs> But God showed me what the earth was supposed to be like after this pandemic. It wasn't supposed to have any more normalcy. It was supposed to rush us into a great, uh, greater tribulation. But it actually did not because God heard the prayers of the saints. And he saw the worship in the, and after the Passover, you know what I'm saying? The blood of Jesus was applied to the earth. Um, so the coronavirus is going to come to an end, y'all. Um, I can, I can guarantee you that, that, that this trick, this plan, that even though fear was released over the earth, um, people are, this also is going to release a revival at the same time. However, I just want to say something. Y'all need to stop fear and stuff. Y'all need to be, y'all need to stop with all the fear because fear is faith deferred. Fear is faith deferred, y'all. Like fear can cause faith to and God doesn't move without faith, okay? But anyways, so that was the dream. Uh, the, uh, it was basically the military had to patrol the streets. Uh, they, the, the cities weren't being taken care of. Trash wasn't being taken. It was, it was nasty and terrible. But that was what was supposed to happen. But that plan fell through. Um, however, I had another dream. And in this dream, it was wormwood. It was about wormwood. I'm gonna let y'all know what wormwood is. So, um, so how, how do I go? So in this dream, I was in a church and all the church was together. And we were all talking about wormwood and how scientists say there's a, uh, that, well, actually the presence of God was there too. And they were saying how an asteroid is supposed to hit in 2028, 2028. I heard that number, 2028. There's an asteroid that's supposed to supposedly hit. It's going to be what, what they call wormwood in the Bible. And in the dream, I was speaking to the people and they were like, well, how big is it going to be? And I was like, it's going to be like 11 11 New Yorks, the size of 11 New Yorks. 
they're like, oh my gosh, where is it going to hit? And God showed me supernaturally in my dream, it's going to hit close to California. And frankly, I wasn't even going to share this dream because at first I didn't want to, I heard, I've heard about this, but I never had no confirmation about it. And when I heard this, and then the spirit of God was speaking in the church and him, and God was saying how, like, I, I want my people to pray against this. I don't want them to just sit there and let it happen. Um, so yeah, so I got, so here's the date that was given. Now I never give dates, but in this dream, 2028 was the date that was given for Wormwood. And all I got, and those are the three things that is going to be the size of 11 New Yorks. They said that it was going to hit 2028. They said it's going to be close to uh, California and it's going to destroy most of the coast. However, God doesn't, God, because you got to understand the principalities and you know how people be seeing UFOs in this space and stuff. You see, this is a plan, an attack from the enemy that God is already warning us to pray against. He doesn't just want us to sit here and let it happen. He wants us to pray against it. There is a war going on in the heavens as we speak. In space. And you know that fallen angels, they, they have these they have these space machines, whatever that they fly around in. They they don't they can fly around or they can just fly around these space. They live in the space area. And they can mess with asteroids. They can mess with different things like that and cause it to hit Earth. And that's exactly what they're going to do. So I really, really, really would suggest you guys begin to start praying against it. Because I've already started praying against it. Pleading the blood of Jesus over it. Um, I've already, and this is confirmation from God himself that it, that he's trying to. He's trying to make, you know how it talks about stars falling from the sky? That's just a, that's one of the attacks of the enemy. He wants to make an asteroid hit the earth and cause a whole bunch of trouble. This is, he's going to, God has plans for the earth and the, and the, the enemy has plans for the earth. Okay. Y'all need to understand that. And as the church, we can pray against some of these things. Some things God can, God will delay or he will put it into it altogether. Like the coronavirus was supposed to go on way longer. It's supposed to be way worse, but God put it, is putting it into it. So I encourage y'all to pray against things like this. If you get dreams like this, pray against it. Don't wait for it to happen because God can defer things like that. God can step in. That's what he wants. He won. That's what he was saying in my dream. He wants us to pray against stuff like this. He doesn't want people. He doesn't want. I saw, and then I saw, uh, God gave me a vision in the dream of how it would look when it hits. Great wall of water is going to, it's going to. It's going to be a huge tsunami that wipes out the coast. People are crying, screaming, um, drowning, and and it's gonna and it's gonna throw everything off. It's gonna throw the balance of everything off. If it, this is not something that's good, that's gonna it, it throws everything off. Um, so pray against that, please. Pray against that because there is power in prayer, and there's power in the name of Jesus and His blood. Um. Let's go on to the next dream that I had. I had another dream. In this dream, I was in my transformed body. I was wearing a white dress and I was calming the seas and calming the calming the um the sky because it was storming outside and I was I literally was hovering over the water and I was telling it to be calm and the sea was calm. I was telling the sky to be calm and the sun came through and it was calm. And that dream ended like as quickly as it came. And then this is a, uh, and then uh, here's another dream. Uh, Y'all, it's just been crazy. It's been back to back to back to back. That's why I was trying to get this video out. It was like, oh my gosh, slow down. <laughs> so in this dream, like it was like a huge revival. Like everybody was, it was like this huge church, but it wasn't a mega church. It was just like this old building. Everybody was crowded in trying to get prayed for. And there was this angel in the, in the church. The reason why I knew he was an angel for one, he was taller than everybody in the whole church. And he was laying hands on people. People was getting healed. People was, um, the, he was raising the dead. Um, in the name of, well, I don't know if he was an angel or not, but he was really tall. And I feel like every time an angel's in my dream, they seem to be very tall, but I'm not sure. And he was just like, there was a, there was a pastor there. There was 
uh, other people there but like this main guy who was praying for people people was really getting healed there was other people praying for people people was getting healed um uh people was giving the church giving them money to giving them money for the church and stuff and this guy would collect it and bring it to the pastor well he had collected a lot of money and i was all the way in the back i mean he did not even see me i was so far in the back and i saw the money that he dropped everybody else didn't see it people was crying falling out from the from the presence of god and kicking around the money they would, <laughs> nobody was paying attention but i saw it pop, pop out his pocket i went i grabbed it and i um brought it to the guy and um um what do you call it i gave it to him and he looked back he looked down at me he looked down at the money and then he put it in his pocket and he put his hand on my shoulder and it's like he was praying. And um, he looked up at me and he said, you are blessed and you have found favor with God. And, I, and then he just walked away. And then my dream ended boom, like that. Like It's like when the profound moment happens, like it just ends abruptly. Um, so... That's, and then I right now I got a new phone, so I don't have the video editing stuff that I usually do. So I wanted to show y'all what God showed me another planet with these beings that I would say they're kind of human. They just don't look like how we look on this earth. Their bodies are made for that earth. Um, I don't know why he showed me this, but I guess he wanted to just show that there are other planets with beings that serve the most high God. And in this dream, they looked like, y'all remember Mortal Kombat, the guy with the forearms, um, the guy with the forearms, he, um, he had like a ponytail at the top of his head and a big old forehead, big eyes, like, and like four four huge fingers they look like that they look like that and they had a red red colored like clay red colored skin um some of the like the women were bald though it was weird like the men had the men thing some of them had hair some of them had a shaved head um like they could grow hair but some a lot of them shaved their hair because in the dream i was i was listening to their conversation about you know there's bugs on this planet so you know you don't want to get lice and stuff so a lot of them shave their heads or they wear ponytails or something like that they lived in the trees they were like tree dwelling human thing creatures <laughs> like they were tree dwelling and it's weird because they didn't speak any language i've ever recognized that would be any human language on this earth but i could understand it because i was in the consciousness of one of them and I could li I was listening to their conversation and they were giving reverence to God for the trees and for the earth. They were giving reverence, like they were serving the same God that we were serving in this maybe dimension or earth that is way far out in the solar system. They were giving, all the people were giving reverence. They, they were, their earth was not touched like ours was. There were no, there were no buildings. It was just huge trees. It looked like, um. Have you ever seen the Avatar movie, Pangea, with a whole bunch of trees everywhere? No structures, nothing. That's how it looked. Every, there was no buildings, nothing. The, they lived off the earth. They ate fruit. Um, they fished. Uh, like, I saw this dream. Y'all, this dream, this dream, like, literally was a long dream because I was observing what they would wear. They they wore things like loincloths, um made from i don't know it didn't look like animal skin i don't know what that was, what kind of cloth that was but it was red like their skin they dressed like the himba people in nambia like they that's how they dressed they wore loring cloths and stuff like that but they didn't use animal skin <sighs> what else like they didn't have five fingers like they had like like that <laughs> Like their hands look like that and they were really big and they could climb trees and they made their homes and stuff in the trees. Um, I saw the babies, the babies, they had four arms. They had huge, like these were muscular, tall beings. Like they were at least 12 foot tall. They had uh, 
arm that they had another arm down here and another arm right here and they could climb trees so fast and so yeah they were tree dwelling people um i want to say they're people because they had very human mannerisms very human conversations like they would talk about god all the time they would talk about family uh gathering food I would I wouldn't say they were ugly, but they they didn't look like us. <laughs> like they had human human aspects about them. Like they had eyes, they had a nose, they had a mouth, but it was different. Like their eyes were much bigger, and they could see really good. Um, I guess they had different color eyes, but mainly brown eyes. Um, they had regular teeth. Like I felt like they had regular teeth just a lot more teeth but they had regular it was weird like they looked i don't know if you've ever seen john carter john carter there was a five there was a four-armed creature this is always seen in hollywood you, you see these type of creatures in hollywood all the time if you watch john carter there were these blue aliens with four arms with hands like this the one in Mortal Kombat had hands like this, skin that was red, look exactly like how they looked in my dream. However, the ones in John Carter, that's how they were dressed. Exactly like that. I'm glad the guy brought me that, brought that to my memory. If you ever watch John, watch John Carter and look at the creatures. They were not green now. They were not green like in John Carter. They were red. And a lot of them had shaved heads. The reason why I say shaved is because I could see where they were growing hair, but they looked shaved. And John Carter, they were just bald. <laughs> they had like ornaments and stuff in their hair. They had beads and stuff. They really did wear stuff like that in my dream. So I wish I had my video editing stuff so I can show y'all pictures. But I'm going to just tell y'all the movies. That way you can get a good understanding of how these creatures look. How they looked exactly. If you watch Mortal Kombat, the first one. And um, look up, look up the, the four-armed creature. That's how the men things look. Another good example, go to watch John Carter and look up the, the green four-armed creatures. That's how they look. Just picture with red skin, okay? And you'll notice that they had human-like features, but they were not all the way looking human. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, again, they were tree-dwelling tree people or things or whatever they were. They did serve God. Um, they were pretty, they were very peaceful creatures. Uh, they had spears. I'm trying to think what else did I see? Like there was a lot of water. Like it seemed like it, it seemed very, everything was untouched. Like how the earth would look if we never cut, if those giants never cut down all the big trees and stuff. Um, what else did I see? I saw the babies and how they took care of the babies. They would put them in pouches on their back or on the front, like kind of like the African people. Um, yeah, this is what I saw. This is the, I've never seen had a dream like this. So this is, was very interesting. And it makes me feel like Hollywood knows about these type of creatures because they're always in these movies. So yeah, and so for the last dream, that I had, which was last night, and it was very interesting. And this dream, this dream lasted, I went to bed very early. I woke up at five o'clock in the morning, um, it's six now. It lasted all, however early I went to sleep, all the way to the next day. And it was literally, I heard, a sp I heard a, something saying over and over again, the power of God is on you. The power of God is on you. The power, I was like, who keeps saying that? I kept hearing it over and over and over and over and over again. And in the dream, like, there was like demons after me. People in human form with demons in them after me. And I couldn't understand why I had this stick that I was, that I was like, I could, could I could use it. Like, I could do anything that my mind really thought of. If I wanted if I wanted the freaking ocean to part, it would do it. If I wanted a door to be broken down, I would use that staff for the name of Jesus and it would work. However, I lost the staff or it disappeared or something. And somebody, this guy was after me. He was going to come kill me. 
for this stuff because he thought that's where the power was in but the power was not in me the power and the staff the power god was working through me because in the dream i had thought of something I, I i was like next to a pot of boiling water and i no it wasn't even boiling it was just a pot of water and i was like oh my god god let this let this pot be boiling and the and like literally i put my hand towards it and the water started boiling it started boiling and I like threw it on him. And then he was like screaming, blah, 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 blah. But he was a human. So that wasn't about to do nothing. So what I did was, I don't know what I did. I put my hand out and like light came from my hand and like, it like knocked the demon out of his body and he died. Like it was crazy. Like, and this was like an oncoming thing on and on. Like I had to keep using, I had to keep thinking of stuff to save my life and God would make it happen. But it looked like I was doing it, but I wasn't doing it. God was doing it. And I kept hearing a voice over and over again. The power of God is on you. The power. I was healing people in that dream. Um, I could, I could, I could, um, what do you call it? I could uh, manipulate the elements, like manipulate water and stuff like that, or earth and stuff. I could do anything that my mind that my mind thought of and God would make it happen. But I had to, I had to initiate it. I had to touch it. I had to, or put, lay hands on it or something or, or command it. It had to be, I had to consciously demand this and I had to, I had to be the one to initiate it and God would do it through me. And it was amazing. It was an absolutely amazing dream and it lasted so long and I kept hearing over and over from somebody. I don't even know if this was an angel. The power of God is on you. The power of God is on you over and over and over again. I woke up and I was like, okay, all right, God, I hear you. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, let me know what y'all think. I know I laid a lot of dreams on y'all. But um, I got to tell y'all, there's been like so many miracles happening. Like I got, I'm going to make a video about that. Um, got some good news for y'all. All right. God bless. Remember fear is, fear is faith deferred. Remember that. Do not fear because God can't work in fear. He works through faith. All right. Um, there's some good things that are going to happen. There's, there, we are in the in the days, y'all. But God has still got plans for us. He still got, He still got good things that He's gonna do with us. Okay, just remember that. Even though it may seem like the devil is doing what he's doing, okay, he's doing what he's doing. But God is doing. He got it. This coronavirus is supposed to be ten times worse. Guess what? God put a stop to it. He made that clear in my dream. He put a stop to it because He heard our prayers and He was moved by it. So, all right, you guys, God bless.